everyone, it's Aaron from ABR Creations. In this tutorial, I am going to be showing you how to make your crochet patterns create more effect. I'm going to be showing you the bobble stitch and the mini pico stitch. For your convenience, I have posted a link in the description which will redirect you to the previous tutorials which I have created in case you have missed them. So, let's get started. Le so, let's start off by making a slip knot. Okay. And we'll chain nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight, and nine. For row one, we will single crochet all across. Having you should have eight stitches by the end of row one. Okay. One. Two, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. And eight. Okay, so once you have finished, turn your piece and chain one. For row two, we will single crochet in the next four stitches. One, two, three and four now we'll start then we will do the bobble stitch for the bobble stitch you yarn over insert your hook into the next stitch yarn over and pull up a loop then yarn over and pull it through two loops only okay then we'll do that process process three more times so that was one Yarn over, insert your hook, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two. That is the second repeat. Here's our third repeat. Yarn over, insert your hook, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two. That's our third repeat. Now our fourth repeat. Yarn over, insert your hook, yarn over, and pull through. That was our fourth repeat. So, you should have five stitches. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. Then yarn over and pull it through all the five loops on your hook. This will create somewhat like, somewhat like this. It's called the bobble stitch. Then we'll single crochet in the remaining three stitches. One. Two and three. Okay, then we cut up yarn, chain one, and pull it all the way through. Congratulations, crocheters! You have now learned how to make the bobble stitch. So it creates more effect because it creates some like somewhat like a three D. 3d circle in in between your rows instead of just uh, making another piece making another circle and then just sewing it on that will take a lot of time so this is called the bobble stitch okay so now that you have learned how to make the bobble stitch let's start with our spike bobble i'll use a different color this time let's start off with our spike bob sorry Let's start off with our mini pico. Sorry if I said spike bobble. Let's start off with our mini pico. You make. Let's start by making a slip knot. Okay. 
and let's see how what can we change let's change six one one two three four five six okay then we will single crochet in five stitches across in, in the five stitches so that is one two <coughs> sorry three four and five okay so once you have single crocheted five, we'll start with our mini pico. Chain two, one and two. Then turn those chains. Uh, you'll find some spine behind those chains. Insert your insert your crochet hook into the second spine or into the second back loop. Second into the back loop of the second chain. Yarn over, pull it through the back loop. And pull it through the loop on your hook, which will make a slip stitch. Sorry, which will make a, a small spike, spike shaped like this. Then we'll finish off by slip stitching into our same stitch. Okay. Cut our yarn. Chain one and pull it all the way through. So, you have now learned how to make the spiked bobble. Sorry, the mini pico. It creates a small spike uh, like, like this. Okay. <clears throat>